Hey, it's Phil here and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. Currently at Central Station, coffee in hand. I just got a call from my boss when I was about halfway between uh, Randwick and Central saying that the first half of work today has been cancelled and the second half is literally a 40 minute job, so that's alright, good way to end the week. Um, this is going to be a video just um, showing you a few, uh, a few of the usual updates here at Central Station. It's been over a week, I believe, since I filmed any videos uh, because I've just battled an absolute kicker of a flu. It's probably, hands down, no exaggeration, the worst flu I've had in my life. But I'm better now, um, 80%, which is, which is quite all right. Uh, so I'm back out and yeah getting to it. Lucky I have, uh, still have all these um, Parramatta Light Rail update videos and New York videos backed up, which which will be coming out to you all you know, every two days as usual. So the first part of today's Central Station update video is going to hopefully be hearing some announcements from down on the metro platforms, at least something, you know, because uh, earlier this week I was on the way to work, it was actually yesterday I was heading up to platforms 12 and 13 to make my way around to platform 9 and um, yeah, I heard the announcement down to down the bottom saying, you know, the, the train to, I don't know, Sydney is going to enter platform 20 something, uh, so that I found quite interesting because testing is in full swing. Oh, I guess you couldn't say testing. I suppose it's just like timetable simulation because the Metro extension between Chatswood and Sydenham is going to be opening next month. Parramatta light rail, the L4 Parramatta light rail line between Westmead and um, Carlingford via the Parramatta CBD is also going to be opening next month, uh, August. So August is going to be an absolutely massive, massive month. And um, I, for one, am definitely looking forward to it. So just an announcement. Couldn't make that out. It kind of sounded like I said the train to Marrickville. Um, but it sounded really jumbled because it's that text to speech thing. And that's probably about the only thing I would diss with the Sydney Metro because yeah, the text to speech stuff just sounds uh, really dodgy for the most part. It'd be good if it was a proper recorded voice like, uh, you know, Taylor Owens or, or, or anybody else um, that can string a sentence together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that. So just wait for the um, doors closing announcement and then we'll head upstairs. Oh, I just heard the doors close, but there's no announcement for it but yeah anyway um i just found that quite interesting that the other day oh okay there we go there was the announcement i did just hear the doors closing chime uh but with nothing anyway 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 uh the other day uh, yeah yesterday i heard the announcements i found it really interesting um so close to opening very very excited about that now up here we're going to have a look over the fence here to see if uh, over the fence to the left to see if there's any progress with with platforms 13 and 14 and the track laying. No. No, nothing. But that's all right. And you can take the wild guess as to why work was cancelled. You can see the ground, it's wet. <laughs> it's, it's been raining most days, which is quite frustrating as you know, but anyway. All right, so now we're going to have a look at 
the end of platform uh, number 11. The end of platform 11 has been demolished and is being realigned and extended as part of the Sydney Terminal Reconfiguration Project. They've taken out a wall of this building here. There's supports laid there for the extension of platform 11. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over and have a look at that. Instead of going all the way to the end of 12 and looping around and walking all the way back up, we'll go down the escalator here and through that little tunnel and then up the stairs just here. But yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Uh, August, it's gonna be a really big month. Uh, as I said before, the Sydney Metro extension between Chatswood and Sydenham opening and the L4 Parramatta Light Rail will also be opening. And another thing that's getting pretty close as well is, uh, well, <laughs> you'd think anyway, it's another one of those things where uh, you, you believe it when you see it, is the entry to service of the Marion D sets, which in turn, um, eventually the V sets will start going. Uh, that won't happen straight away. It's not like, you know, one D set enters service and all of a sudden the V sets off to scrap. There will be a few of the D sets in service before the V sets start getting taken off, uh, off their runs and, uh, you know, stripped and prepped for scrap. Uh, okay. All right, that tunnel's blocked off. So it looks like we are going to the end of platform and looping around but that's all right so I got the call about works can or partial cancellation today while I was already on my way to central so instead of just heading home and then back out later on uh, to head out to Marsfield I thought I'd thought I'd just continue to central and do a couple of update videos I want to uh, I want to obviously do this one and I also want to head out to McDonald Town as long as it's not going to rain on me too much. I suppose the last thing we need when recovering from this flu is to, is to get wet and then extra cold and, and ultimately sick again, I suppose. But yeah, I worked all the way through it. <laughs> no, no time off there, no rest for the wicked. But what can you do? You just gotta, gotta push on with life the best you can. But I hope you all are staying dry and as warm as possible and staying away from the sickness because it's definitely been going around lately it's uh, yeah and it's not a good one either it's I was told before I got sick like you know you see it in the news you see it everywhere else a so word of mouth uh, a number of friends you know uh, that this this flu that's going around is a real doozy. And I'm like, okay, I just you know, brush it off, continue with life. And then all of a sudden, you just, I think it was the 25th, Tuesday 25th, it came on so quickly, like it was a scratchy throat and then followed by fever. Like it just came on full on within about two hours. So, you know, went from zero to 100 within about two maybe three hours but that's all right better now so that's good it's been a it's been a real kicker of a flu season so far 
most likely because of all this rain too, because yeah, that certainly wouldn't help at all. I hope you all have been able to get out and do a few things on the weekends when you've when you've not been working, not been at school, not been doing whatever your you know your personal commitments during the week hopefully you've been able to get out on the weekends I know that's been about eight weekends in a row that it's been raining this this coming weekend is is going to be the ninth weekend in a row with rain you've got the holidays coming up so I suppose that's the a, next train to arrive on platform 11 yeah, here. another reason why Please we do not shouldn't or hopefully won't have the rain but yeah anyway all right so it's been sort of some tar here but this wall's been taken out of the building here as we saw before from across the way here and have a look we saw all that history in the last video in the last update video so we didn't need to read all that again so we'll just go to the end of this wall here and just have a look around it So you can see, you can start to see the shape of the platform. So once the platform has been extended here, once this work is complete, I uh, dare say that there will be a decent shutdown. Um, don't know if it'll be a complete week, but most likely a whole weekend. Uh, they'll need to uh, move signals, move the track over and everything like that. And once they've finished this work, that's when they can start building the junctions and the rest of the tracks into platforms 13 and 14. Then install the overhead wiring and um, do all the, all the other work they need to do. And then and around that time, that's when platforms 13 and 14 will open. So still a little bit of a, a way to go yet. It's not as easy as just, you know, throwing some tracks down and wires up and it's, you know, that's all. <laughs> There's a, obviously a lot more that goes into it, especially with a with a project as, as big as this. So this project, the Sydney Terminal Area Reconfiguration Project, sees platform number nine and 10 extended, which are these two here. As you can see, platform nine has been extended there, as has platform 10. Uh, platform 11, as we are just seeing there, is currently uh, in the process of being extended Platform number 12 has been extended, 13 is new-ish, uh, 14's new, so they're all, they're all built already to that length. But yeah, that's all for this video everybody. Thank you for watching, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video and I'll catch you very soon. Goodbye for now, stay warm, stay well, stay safe, all that good stuff. Bye.